Hello, this is Dustin with ProAVSchool.com. What I wanted to do today, because I've mentioned it in the past, is show you how to use a virtual machine on any host device, basically a Windows installation, in this case, Windows 8.1, and operate something that requires software that runs only on an earlier version of earlier operating system, in this case, Windows XP. So what I've got in this situation is actually a clear one XAP 800, and rather than having to go back to the shop and go get and find a Windows XP machine that has a serial port, I've got my Windows 8.1 laptop with me. And this is just a test. I've got it in my de desk here. Um, but I've got a Keyspan USB to serial adapter as well. And so this is just Oracle Virtual Box. And I've got a Windows XP installation that I've already preset. I had a Windows XP install CD kicking around. So anyways, this is Windows XP running inside of Windows 8.1. Uh, Windows 8.1 is the host and Windows XP is the guest operating system. So what I'm going to do now is plug in the USB uh, keyspan adapter into my host device. And there's a little trick here. You actually have to go up to devices on the, the host, or sorry, on the guest operating system. And you find the keyspan there, you click on it, and that will take it off of the host and drag it right into the guest so that you've got that USB being recognized right by the guest operating system. And I've already tested this, I've already installed Keyspan stuff, so it's there. Uh, I'll just show you here. It shows uh, that it's right there and it's actually set as COM port number three. So anyways, now you can go ahead and open Gware. This is a bit of software that we haven't seen in quite a few years. And it's running again here on Windows XP. Um, so I'll use COM3 again. And remember where I got that. The uh, Keyspan, which I really recommend because it's got its own UART and stuff. It really has good serial performance. But basically that lets you map the port. And I know that it's set as COM3. So that's how I got it set up. So I'll pick that here in my site file. And then the next step here, you got to actually connect to site. And so it's just doing its uh, initial synchronization thing. And when those lights go green, then it will be live data right from the unit. Now, I don't actually have any audio sources hooked up here. Um, this is just a demo that's running on my desk. But as you can see, here we are operating a uh, legacy piece of hardware with a legacy piece of software right inside Windows 8.1 and we don't have any compatibility issues to speak of. So you can go ahead and uh, troubleshoot old systems now without dragging along a whole bunch of hardware. So I can't guarantee it's going to work for everything, but again, if you use a good reliable USB to serial adapter like the Keyspan, uh, it's actually model USA 19HS, and if the program that runs it is well supported by like Windows XP or whatever guest OS you're trying to run, then really you shouldn't have any issues. And so I'd just like to share that tip. Again, Dustin Berg with ProAVSchool.com. Check us out for tips and tricks of the ProAV industry. Thanks.